Jamaica's Brianna Liston, the 100, 200, and 400 meter sprint sensation formerly of Heidel, now attending LSU, had a quiet 2023 season, but we expect big things from her in 2024. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races so are you ready yep good to go well the olympic gold medalist and budapest 2023 world championship bronze medalist jasmine camacho quinn of puerto rico is well was spotted um vacationing with i am assuming this is her boo is that, a, is that the now term boo um at the sandals grand in Ocho Rios, Jamaica. Yes, people them. The people them in Jamaica, they know the right place to come. Yeah. Middles trying to come through. Williams running really well on the far side. Kenny Harrison trying to get in the mix. So to Camacho Quinn, it might... American triple jumper Donald Scott, who placed third in the Diamond League Finals at the Prefontaine Classic, was spotted with this beauty, Jasmine Camacho Queen, at Sandals and looked like they were getting, having a good time. She wrote, Lost in Paradise Found in Jamaica. The 100 meter hurdle sensation looked stunning as always. Happy that herself and her boo, people tell me if I'm using the right terminology, boo, um, decided to vacate here in beautiful sunny jamaica open up both having a wonderful time now for the reason you clicked on the video this remarkable talent brianna liston now just in case you have forgotten who brianna liston is we're going to take a little brief sojourn into her journey in 2022 when she pretty much dominated outside well dominated within the island of jamaica in the class one girls the only person who challenged and beat her was of course the remarkable tina clayton another remarkable talent here she is setting the new champs record in the class one girls 200 meters in 2022 at the isa boys and girls champs uh blowing away the competition and she was a dynamo at fair technical that's your favorite brianna liston running out of lane six silver medalist in the 100 meter final set the set position off the first time of asking liston got a great start kelly is trying to stay with her woolery is also trying to stay with her but it's all about brianna liston at the moment look at that beautiful transition of the curve the high speed speedball is on a different level she's gone about her business the battle is really on for silver and bronze brianna liston a fantastic performance 22.52 new record a stunning and imperious performance by brianna liston what a run a run for the ages and a run to simply take your breath away take that to the back oh wow 22.53 kelly silver negative 22. oh in a country filled with immense junior sprint female talent uh brianna liston being one of course the aforementioned tina clayton uh, her friend and compatriot alana reed uh serena cole um tia clayton uh karika hill i mean i can literally go on and on and on forever uh brianna liston stands out as one of the best here she is winning uh 2022 the uh, on the 20 world championships 200 meters in fine style in horrific condition but winning uh there was no question who the winner was 
So it's Liston who has the lead. She comes into the straight. She's running away from this field. Jamison starting to try and get back to her. But Liston is away, and it is going to be another goal for Jamaica. Fine run from Jamison, who came... Then, of course, there was the marquee event of the Issa Boys and Girls Champs 2022, the clash between Brianna Liston and the Clayton Twins, particularly between Brianna Liston and Tina Clayton in the finals of the Class 1 Girls 100 meters, which lived up to the hype. In fact, was probably better than the hype. Serious threat. The wind reading seems very conducive at the moment for superb sprinting stuff. Wilson, Spencer, Walker, Clayton, Liston, Clayton, and James. Set. Set bang away. Brianna Liston, another great start by her. The Clayton twins are trying to stay with her. Tina Clayton hops to the front now. Brianna Liston is trying to fight back. It's Liston from Tina Clayton. Liston and Tina Clayton is very, very close indeed. It could be Liston. It could be Tina Clayton. The flash time, 11.24. The record stays safe. But that was all my work. Now, Brianna Liston is currently attending LSU. She has moved on to college and for the 2023 season, her best time with the 200 meters is 23.05. She ran no 100 meters at and she generally had a very quiet season she did run uh some 60 meters did okay uh we did see her run the anchor leg for lsu in the in the four by 100 meter relays we saw her run a few 200 meters but what was of note is that when she was about to run her first indoor 200 meter on that slanted um track the lsu track and field coach said he didn't want her to run because of fears of injury and uh, now this of course is my two cents this is important uh, she has had injury issues and after her first you know she had series of injuries from maybe 13 14 15 right up until we saw her recovering in 2021 in kenya and the world's under 20 and then she had that incredible year in 2022 so clearly um you know Stephen francis says a brilliant athlete a great athlete is like a finely tuned instrument so you have to be very very careful with this athlete so i was very very happy to hear the lsu coach say you know he didn't want her to get injured he had to be very very careful and she has ran i mean she was okay in her freshman year but i don't think she ran as much as they would normally be running so i suspect she has adjusted i i didn't hear of any major injury issues with her and i'm hoping for the 2024 season to see her back to her old self and hopefully much better i based on what i have observed with how the coaching staff treated her at lsu last this year 2023 they understand the value of what they have they know that she's an exceptional talent i mean she really is and not just over the 200 meters people 400 meters and i still think one of the fastest 100 meter junior runners that we have she's just 19 and i believe this year she should be hitting that sub 11 barrier i honestly believe this so i think for the 2024 season i should say for the 24 season i expect her to run a sub 11. i think we're going to be some seeing something exceptional and i mean really exceptional from brianna liston because all the indicators are there once she's injury free once she's okay i expect to see fireworks but this, of course, is my two cents. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit notifications, and bell, hit the like button. Remember, your royals, kings, and queens. Bless up.